Hello, everyone. Hello, church. You're there. <laughs> Just doing a sound check, making sure that... Oh, you can't hear? Are you... <laughs> okay. How's that? Much better. Okay. Well, we will be starting in a few minutes, but welcome.
Hello, church. It is good to be here with you. It is good to be here together. I hope you feel that, sense that, can celebrate that. I'm not sure. But we'll get there, right? Welcome to those who are joining us through the miracle of technology. We're glad that you are with us. And we trust that all of you will meet God and receive a gift from God today. It may not be the one you thought you might receive sort of like the scripture this morning, but it's good to come together. I am not aware of any announcements except one regarding the fall mom sale. Some of you may have seen and heard about this. This is to benefit Daisy's children, and I'm told you can order online there is information for that, and then you'll be able to pick them up here. And who doesn't like fall moms? So if you want to know more, you can check with Sharon. Does somebody, yes, Julia. September 10th. Any other announcements? So let us prepare ourselves for worship as we center during the music. Thank you, choir. Let us call each other to worship. You are welcome here. Jesus calls us to come as we are. Come to this time of worship not knowing 
how God will speak to you today. Gather us in. The words are on the back of the bulletin or in the hymnal, and we'll sing one, two, and four verses. Let us join together in prayer and the Lord's Prayer. Amazing God, you created the heavens and the earth. You love humans and you love all your creation. Too often we pretend we can easily describe you, imagine you, how you look and what you do. We try to shrink you down to a more manageable size when you are bigger than we can imagine or conceive. Help us to see you in each other and to hear you in the words and the silences of this time and place. Open us to recognize you, your presence and activity among us and within us. Shape us and mold us even as we pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And our joyful response is halle, hallelujah.
like you're glad you came. <laughs> Before we share joys and concerns in preparation for sharing prayer together a little bit later, I want to give you my perspective from here. It would be really effective if I got you all to stand up and move here and come up the stairs and look out. Ooh. I know I'm going to get in trouble today, so why not start now? But I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm just going to ask you to consider what it might look like from my vantage point with a sprinkling over here and a sprinkling over there and one up front and the one in the middle and some in the back. Just, just think about it. Sharing our joys and concerns. So I am currently aware of three. You may know some others. So please think about that and feel free to share them. Some of you may know that Pam Precourt fell this week and um, injured her hip. There's good news in that she didn't need to have as much invasive surgery as she feared. However, she did have to cancel her trip to Denmark, and many of us know how she was looking forward to that. And I was just informed that she is now in intensive care because she's contracted an infection. So I know Pam Pam is certain we are praying for her, so don't let her down. Also prayers uh, for Jessie, Lucy Putnam's sister. She had a serious fall this week from a horse and suffered uh, serious injuries. Uh, Lucy is there as well as Jessie's husband, and so prayers for that whole family, it will be a long recovery. And many of us gathered yesterday to celebrate the life of Snooky, um, our beloved friend, and it was a celebration of her expansive love and her wonderful sense of humor and her devotion to her God and her faith. So let's remember uh, her husband David and her children and grandchildren, all of those who are going to be feeling her absence so very keenly. What have you thought of for joys and concerns? Yes. That's great. So thanksgivings for Evie's coming through her surgery well and for all of those who prayed. And she's just in time to be fit as a fiddle for school. Other joys or concerns? Yes.
certainly for all of the children in Honduras and particularly for Annabelle's children um, as they deal with the absence of their mother under tragic circumstances. Any other joys or concerns? I give thanks that I'm here today after being all over everywhere the last three and a half months um, to preach and lead worship. And that's a wonderful experience, but it's so wonderful to come home. I do see another hand over there. The lost and forgotten. Okay, so I'm wondering if our friend, who I think is hiding, I don't see him right now. <laughs> Weston, do you want to come up? No. <laughs> okay, that's power, Weston. <laughs> um, I do have, I'm going to come down. So I'll just share what I handed to Weston just now. The children and, and those of us who've been spending time with them in Sunday school this summer have been sharing about the fruits of the spirit. And uh, so I gave him some things to think about um, on the fruits of the spirit. But I want to ask you... Do you know all nine of them? Did you know there were nine? Weston knows there's nine. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Help me out here, Weston. <laughs> Generosity, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. So just something for you to think about when your mind drifts during the sermon. What fruit is love? What fruit represents patience or gentleness or kindness? Just a little game you can play. We are gifted to be able to pray wherever, whenever. And so let us pray together with one mind and spirit. Always and everywhere, God, you are more eager for us to come and spend time with you than, than we are. And we thank you for that, that deep, icing love. We be here in these moments today. We could be. Thank you that we are together to encourage each other in our walk with Thank you for all the ways you have for the goodness come to us for the us and patience for the times that we to pull back and listen and wait for you to be revealed. 
pray your great and generosity and grace will who are lost who all those who are grieving all those who are with guilt We pray that your will be clear and real and Pam and all health concerns. And we thank you that you allow us in some way hope. You have made us to be restless until we find our rest, Creator. So keep looking, to keep growing in faithfulness, so that we can in this world. For all those things we have who are hurting, rejoicing, pray. To do far more abundantly than all we can think or ask. Thanks be to you, loving God. Pray. Amen. Our gospel comes from the where this morning I read from the New Revised Standard, beginning at verse 10 and reading through verse 17. And listen for the word of God. Now Jesus was teaching. Spirit that had crippled her for she was bent over to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over. Jesus saw her. He called her woman, you are set. When he laid his hand, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But indignant because Jesus had kept saying to the crowd, days on which work ought to be done, come on those days and not on the Sabbath day. You hypocrites, does not eat, untie his ox from the manger and lead it away to give it water? This woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom 18 long years from the bondage. Yay. Said this. We're put to shame. The entire crowd.
So we're experimenting today. I'm experimenting in the experiment. And poked to preach from this something I've never different perspective long enough to know but differently let's pray On sunny days, don't think of your child who sells umbrellas. Think of your child who sells noodles and how wonderful it is that it's a sunny day and the noodles will dry well and there will be plenty to sell. And on rainy days, don't think of your child who sells noodles Think of your child who sells umbrellas and remember that the rain is bringing people to buy those umbrellas. And it worked. And the people now knew her as the smiling woman. This is about pessimism.
her free. And then he puts his hands on her, and immediately she's healed. She stands up straight. She praises God. And Jesus recognizes. And the worshipers who witnessed. He missed the miracle. He was so focused on keeping order, making sure nobody violated the rules. He missed the work of Jesus in his Midst. There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, and not on the Sabbath day. He's so angry, his anger isn't even directed at Jesus, even though that's who he's angry at. He's yelling at the crowd. Can you imagine? Don't you come to this holy place of worship on the day of worship and expect to get anything you need. Healing is work. And you have to wait until the Sabbath is over for work.
on a lie. What you may not know is that the people responsible
He did not ask for a morality clearance on her character. He did not ask her what the doctor said or didn't say or did or didn't do. He saw her as a human being, a sister, a friend, a daughter of Abraham, a child of God. Although she had long been a prey and victim of paralysis, crooked and crippled, Pray together. All that we have and all that we